Good morning, everybody. It's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my warning to run for every fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who lose her life in the line of duty in 2021. And, and today we are here in San Diego, California, to my many members of the San Diego Police Department and many other departments. Uh, and we're here today to run for uh, two fallen detectives who both lost their life in the same instance with the San Diego Police Department. Sally, today we're running for Detective Brian Park and Detective Jamie Huntley Park. We're going to be running two miles, uh, and it's going to be uh, two miles that we're going to be doing at the same time, and we're not going to be stopping in between. First mile is going to be for Detective Brian Park, and the second one's going to be for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. They both serve with the San Diego Police Department, and both their end of watch was on, was on June 4th, 2021. Um, they lost their life after uh, their patrol car was struck head on by a wrong way driver. Uh, uh, Detective Ryan Park was 32 years old. Detective Jamie Park, what Jamie Huntley Park was 33 years old, uh, and they both graduated from the same academy class and later got married. Um, they both served nine years with the department and were also both um, uh, they were also both uh, ranked to detective at the same time and the same day. Uh, they also leave behind a loving family, uh, which some are here today. Uh, and like I said, we're joined by many people running with us and patrolling with us here today to support these two fallen first responders. Even though they lost their life a few months ago, we wanted to wait it out because knowing that we were coming to San Diego, we wanted to make sure that we have their support and we can show that the San Diego Police Department will be forever supporting them and we want them to know that they're still here in spirit running with us here today. I'm gonna do a quick prayer before we start our two mile run. Uh, we have Teresa from Ronnie Pierce Canines. What's gonna happen is right after the first mile, she's gonna be standing right along the curb. We're going to be doing a, uh, we're gonna be going down uh, to a road and coming straight back. And then once I hit my mile mark, I'm gonna be uh, she's going to be giving me that flag, I'm going to be handing her this flag. Uh, so we each have separate flags so we can both still represent one mile for each of them. I'm going to do a quick prayer and then we'll be on our way to support these two fallen first responders here today. So for those that are tuning in today, today Zechariah is in San Diego, California, running two miles to honor two fallen heroes who lost their life in the line of duty from this agency. This first mile in honor of fallen Detective Ryan Park. Tragically, Detective Ryan Park, along with his wife, Detective Jamie Huntley Park, lost their lives on June the 4th, 2021, after the patrol car that they were in was struck head on by a wrong way driver. Both these detectives graduated from the same academy, fell in love, got married, and served this great community together. Both were promoted to detective at the same point. Both serving an incredible nine years as a member of the San Diego Police Department before this incident. Once again, this first mile in honor of Detective Ryan Park once this first mile is complete, Zachariah will exchange the flag and we'll run a second mile in honor of Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Joining me actually right here in the bed of the truck sitting to my right is the father of Detective Jamie. And we're here today to help honor her and Detective Ryan. Again, we're in San Diego running with Zachariah as the police chief of the San Diego Police Department. We appreciate his support and him coming out and being here also running with Zechariah, we have members of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, all the way from the Orlando International Airport that came out to help be a part of this run. As Zechariah mentioned, waiting at the start-finish line will be Teresa from Running for Heroes K-9, holding the flag that will be used for Detective J.B. Huntley Park for that second mile. They will do it in exchange shortly after. Once again, those tuning in, our uh, service and weather was great, so we decided to go live this run. Typically, we record and upload, but the conditions were 
great and we decided to have Zechariah do this run live so that you guys can tune in as it happens here in San Diego. For those that are just now tuning in, Zechariah is going to be doing two miles. He's going to be doing two there and backs to honor two of San Diego's finest that were lost in the beginning of June. Detective Ryan Park and Detective Jamie Huntley Park tragically were killed after a wrong way driver struck their vehicle head on. Both serving nine years with the San Diego Police Department, both graduating from the same academy, both being promoted to detective at the same time, both making a big difference in the lives of their community, both being honored here today in San Diego, their home community, alongside Zechariah, San Diego Police Chief, helping to honor his two fallen officers, as well as many members of the San Diego Police Department, as well as members of the family. As we approach the half mile mark, I'm gonna go silent for the duration of this first mile as we reflect on the life of Detective Ryan Park, his bravery and his service. We hope this run honors Detective Park well. We thank Detective Ryan Park for his service and we hope we never forget all the great work he did serving his community here in San Diego. is about to complete his first mile in honor of Detective Ryan Park. As he completes this mile and we do a loop around, Zachariah will be exchanging the flag. Teresa from Running for Heroes Canines is standing guard holding the flag for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Zachariah will exchange flags and begin his second mile in honor of Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Once again, each of these flags will be delivered to the families of these two fallen heroes.
we loop around Zechariah, getting ready to start that second mile. We'll make sure we have, we gotta make sure we get on camera the change off of the flags. Here, Teresa standing with the flag for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Zechariah handing the flag for Detective Ryan Park off. And now Zechariah has the flag that is gonna be carried to honor Detective Jamie Huntley Park. One more, guys. One more. So once again, those are tuning in. Zechariah now starting his second mile, the second mile in honor of fallen Detective Jane, Jamie Huntley Park. Tragically also lost her life as part of the incident in which their patrol unit was struck head on by a wrong way driver. As part of Zechariah's mission, as I mentioned earlier, every flag that Zechariah carries is unique. Every flag is different. What you guys just witnessed is something pretty special, something that Zechariah has never done before. And we are honored to have Teresa from Running for Heroes Canines present as she was holding the flag for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Zechariah handed off the flag he carried for Detective Ryan Park. And now carrying a separate flag for the second mile, this flag will be given to the father of Detective Jamie Huntley Park once this run is done. Detective Jamie Henley Park served nine years as a member of the San Diego Police Department. Graduated the same class as her husband. Both of them promoted to detective at the same point in time. She was a hero that absolutely loved serving her community. And Zechariah's hope is that this run honors her well for her service, her commitment. And we want to thank the police chief running right there alongside Zechariah, hasn't fallen off at all. Running to help honor his two fallen officers as well. Again, to those that are tuning in, Zechariah now logging his second mile of two. This mile in honor of fallen Detective Jamie Huntley Park. The second mile, very touching as I'm joined right here next to me by Detective Jamie's father who will be receiving his flag once this run is complete. Those of you that follow this mission know we try to get the runs in pretty soon after the line of duty death date. But at the date in which this incident took place, we had already knew that we were going to be heading to San Diego for a separate event. And we wanted to do our part to make this run as honorable as possible for both Detective Jamie and Ryan. And we felt doing it here in their home community would be special. And to have the chief here running with Zechariah and all the community members as you see that came out and are running these miles with Zechariah, the hope is that this run will not only help ensure that their memories will never be forgotten, that their service will always be remembered, but that people across the nation will learn about the story of these two heroes. Not only did they love each other, but they loved their calling which was to serve and protect. And the hope is that this run honors them in this particular mile, honors Detective Jamie Huntley Park. I'm gonna go silent starting now that we're completing the half mile mark for the second mile. I'm gonna go silent for the duration of this run as we reflect on the service, legacy, and career of Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Once again, we hope this run honors her well. We thank her for her service and our prayers remain with her family job, and everybody at the San Diego Police Department. May we never forget Good job, the parks.
saw Zechariah pass Teresa Ann from Run for Heroes K9. She's taking that second mile to honor both Detective Ryan and Jamie Park. Zechariah always does. He's going to go back and finish with the last person. We're going to stay live as everybody finishes. It might be about another 10, 15 minutes before we uh, get in the closing words from Zechariah. So again, everybody that's now tuning in, Zechariah doing what he has become customary. Going back and finishing with everybody, walking back with the chief, making sure no man's left behind. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna stay up here in the uh, the shade 
Zechariah will probably go off camera for a little bit. But we're gonna stay here and stay on camera until Zechariah returns. Once again, those that are just not tuning in, Zachary just completed his two mile run. One mile for Detective Ryan Park. Another mile for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Husband and wife duo tragically were struck by a wrong way driver while they were in the patrol car on shift. And as Zachary always does, carrying a flag for each of them. If you guys didn't see earlier, once the live video posts, Definitely uh, look back at the, uh, the flag handoff. was very powerful as Teresa Ann from Running for Heroes Canines came out from Las Vegas where she's from to be part of this run and delivered the flag. And actually here comes Teresa Ann from Running for Heroes Canines right now. We're gonna make sure we see her. Teresa Ann running. There goes Teresa Ann right now. This is our future right here, everybody. Good job, Teresa Ann. Please make sure you follow her mission running for Heroes Canines. Every time a canine's lost the line of duty, she runs a mile for every fallen canine and gives out monthly ballistic vests. She's out here today, and uh, if you guys just watch her finish, go on and hit that love button. Show her some, some love. Absolutely love that Teresa came and wanted to do that second mile once she handed that flag off. For those wondering where Zechariah's at, as is customary, he always goes back and retrieves the last runner. That's what he's doing right now. We're gonna stay here and as everybody else finishes their second mile to honor both Jamie Huntley Park and Ryan Park, detectives of the San Diego Police Department. Zechariah going back with the sh uh, chief of the San Diego Police Department to ensure no man or no woman is left behind as we pay tribute to two of their finest of their community. The hope is that this run helped honor these two heroes well. And we can't thank this community enough for coming out and joining as Zechariah honored these heroes. Good job, good job, good job. Good work, good job. Thank you for having us. Once again, everybody tuning in. Zechariah already completed his two miles. The weather's nice. The service is great. We decided for this run to go live. But if you guys haven't... If you guys are just tuning in, once the run fully posts, we definitely recommend going back and watching this run, especially the flag change off. Teresa Ann from Running for Heroes Canines was out, and as Zechariah was finishing his first mile to honor Detective Ryan Park, Teresa was holding the flag for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Uh, husband and wife duo tragically both lost their life after a wrong way driver struck the patrol car back in June. They did a flag change off so that Zechariah could carry that second flag for Detective Jamie. It was quite remarkable and what made it even more powerful, even though you guys didn't see it on camera, was sitting to my right on the bed of that truck was the father of Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Having her father there with us as Zechariah paid tribute to his daughter uh, was something that we can't really put into words. Um, After this run's done, we're gonna end the live feed so that we can fold the flag and 
we'll record and upload the uh, flag presentation. Brandy, the 13 soldiers aren't honored by Zechariah because his mission focuses on police and fire. However, this mission, Running for Heroes, is all about supporting all of our fallen heroes. And we actually have a military veteran named Shonda who runs a mile every time our military is killed in action. She's already run uh, almost all of the 13 miles so far for the 13 heroes of lost in Afghanistan. Please make a point, follow running the number four heroes military. The run video is that she's already done to honor several of the members killed in Afghanistan has already been posted. So please check out running for heroes military. All right, I'm gonna go silent as Zechariah and the last group of runners comes to complete their tributes. Zachariah, do you have any final words for the families of fallen Detectives Ryan Park and Detective Jamie Huntley Park? To the family of Detective Ryan Park and Detective Jamie Huntley Park, her whole entire, they're, they're both here and his whole entire family and the whole entire department. I hope you'll heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. I know it's, I bet, a hard time for lots of people around the San Diego area, especially the San Diego Police Department, but with the help of this run, we can not only remember them and keep the memory of them for alive, alive forever, but at the same time, we know that they were still both running here in spirit today, and they're still together up in heaven, and we'll see them someday as well. This was a very uh, unexpected accident. However, um, I know that they're smiling down right now and protecting, protecting everybody up there right now as well. And we thank you all for joining us in the run. And we hope everybody at the San Diego Police Department well and safe for, we hope, as long as we ever can. They were both incredible heroes, both had a passion for serving, were a great husband and wife, and they had a, a strong bond with being a, a detective. And I know that they love serving their community and love being able to be a detective with the San Diego Police Department. This is the specific flag we ran with for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. We also have, let me get it real quick. This flag, this is the first mile we did. This is for Detective Brian Park, who we did in the first mile. And this flag is the second mile we did for Detective Jamie Huntley Park. Both these flags will be going to either their family members of the apartments we'll be finding out who we're gonna give it to in just a second. I think we already know. Um, so we hope these two flags and the notes that we did for the family uh, means a lot. And we want you to know that with the help of us, if you ever need any more support, we will always be here for you. And if all of you tonight or today would like to join me in a 42 second moment of silence, uh, we, usually, we usually do 21 seconds, just like the 21 gun salute for each fallen first responder. But since we did two today, we're going to add them both together. So if all of you like to join me in this 42 second moment of silence to help both of these families heal, please bow your heads right now. Thank you all for joining me in that 42 second moment of silence. Now, one more time tonight, if all of you like to bow our heads in a prayer, this time for both the Texas we ran for today and the help and support that may, some people may still need right now. If all of you bow our heads in this prayer, please do. Dear God, today on this wonderful morning in San Diego, California, we unfortunately had to run for 
the two detectives that lost their life in the same incident, being struck and killed by a one-way driver, husband and wife duo, love serving, and what and love being able to help uh, make sure that their, that their community was safe and everybody in the San Diego area was safe. God, the family and department, watch over all of them. Let's hope that we don't lose anymore in the future. Watch over all the fallen first responders around this area to make sure that no more lose their life for as long as possible. And overall, watch over these two families, keep them all safe, and let's hope that over time they can heal. And if they ever need any more support, they can watch this video and use this organization tool to help them heal. God, thank you for bringing us here and keeping everybody safe and completing these two miles to the best of our ability. And God, we hope this room means much possible and we know they're looking down right now from heaven. And they're still here and they ran with us in spirit tonight. Thank you again, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for coming out to the run. It means a lot to have all of you out. And thank you all for watching this stream. Uh, we're going to be doing a grant presentation tomorrow that we still have, we still have to do uh, from a, a year ago that we were finally able to do since we're here in San Diego. And we're also going to be um, helping out a few other first responders who have lost their life in the San Diego Police Department. We're going to be having a, a good time here. Keep in contact with Ronnie Vieira's page and stay in contact. Uh, I mean, keep keep watching the page for anything else we do. And thank you all for watching. Say so much some encouragement in the chat to help these families because uh, when they watch this, it can mean the world to them to see that they have their support along the way. Thank you all for coming out as well. Hope you all have a great and safe day, and I pray God blesses you all.